there's somewhere that I really <clears throat> want to go, then I'll go. You know? Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, I'm I'm speaking now about let's say something called the next level. It's not about any more choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying to avoid the word that you don't like, society. But it's mm -hmm. uh, all of a sudden the number of individuals that are having uh, similar traits. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to to stay in general uh, notions mm -hmm. is uh, becoming bigger and bigger. Yes, so that that's like for me, uh, immaturity, unconsciousness, uh, the abuse of substances, either alcohol or drugs, mm -hmm. narcissism. Um, uh, then really like um, uh, I forgot the English word, uh, gear, the German word, like the really need to have everything for yourself, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, and the number of this individual on the planet Earth is growing. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it's not when we speak about freedom and moving here or there, or it, it's not anymore the question, do I want to be somewhere or I don't want to be somewhere, but how do I survive surrounded by, by a growing number of people who have traits that are not corresponding to my ethical view mm -hmm. you know like this is becoming for me the the like a everyday subject yeah i mean yes i know what you mean and i you know it's funny that you would say this because i i really think about this sometime and it's one of the reasons i've come more and more to the conclusion that i don't want to have children right Because I don't feel like I want to sub subject voluntarily subject some person to where I think the world is going, right? Mm -hmm. But And, why? This is. I'm sorry that I'm interrupting you, mm -hmm. but you're not the only one who is saying. I have a lot of friends who are spiritual, conscious, different, and so on, mm -hmm. who are saying, "I know where the world is going," mm -hmm. but. Uh, No one is doing anything or saying you, anything. But you, Where is the world going? Because you can't... I mean, it just depends on... But wh wait, Hollis. Where mm -hmm. is the world going? I mean, the world is just getting... I can't... I mean, there's no way to know. There's Actually, there's no way to, to know where the world is actually going of course right but the 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 thing is is like we are coming to like a point where we have like very strong disagreements on how to put things in the right direction what is the right direction like what you know how we should handle situations how we should behave to one another And I feel like we just have things in a very big disarray that I don't necessarily see getting fixed anytime soon. But what is the what is the base base of all of this? Like for me, I feel that uh, uh, like intellectually and spiritually, I could say that the base of all of this is loss of ethics. Like the ethics is disappearing from the global stage as uh, as something that uh, is like a uh, important element in human interaction. Mm -hmm. Well, it just depends on what you think is ethical. Like this is the thing, there's no like no one can come to a a, a general agreement on what is ethical behavior. That's, I mean that there is a general agreement what is a uh, no, ethical no, behavior. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No. And this is remember our whole conversation when you were at <laughs> when you were at my place? This is the prime <laughs> example of that. It it's just like people really feel like they have a a, a um right, a, yeah. A right to, and and they have their own understandings of what's morally acceptable. Yeah, but there is there is this big thing that, uh, or there is this thing that is important for me, and th this is the difference between morality and ethics. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking about ethics, not morality, okay. because morality can be under influence of uh, 
of like family or religion or uh, cult or uh, school or I don't know. Someone is teaching you what is moral, what is not moral. Yeah. Okay. Ethics is much deeper. Okay. What's ethics, ethics is much deeper. What's ethics? Yeah, for me, ethics is much deeper. It's first, uh, like, really going deep in yourself and saying that you are not singular in the world. Mm -hmm. And you are never going to be singular. Also, when you break it down to the two people, Adam and Eve, you are not a singular, a singular entity. Mm -hmm. And the whole, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't want to... Uh, like uh, say one religion is good than the other and blah, blah, blah. But uh, the whole thing that someone is coming from someone and it has an inferior worth for me is like no go, you know? Like mm -hmm. there, there is in the root of this story, then it, there is unethical behavior. Mm -hmm. And for me, the whole humankind is going to uh, unethically develop until it uh, uh, doesn't resolve the, uh, the unethical seed that yeah. is one of this... Uh, uh, general stories that we are uh, saying to each other, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in one of these general stories, there is the female inferiority uh, comparing to male superiority or whatever, you know. Right. So uh, this is like going to the deep self and uh, being aware and being honest and saying I'm not a singular I uh, uh, I'm not a singular entity. Mm -hmm. Not identity. I'm not a singular entity in the world, and I will never gonna be. Mm -hmm. There is no no uh, existence of phenomenolog phenomenological being that is one. Mm -hmm. You know, like the the three D reality means two or the opposition. There is nothing who, single. Okay, and who? So this is like a starting point. You know. Yeah, like, and we're never. You're never gonna get everyone to be on this on this this point. Because, it because this is the second part, the delusion. Okay, I don't know. Go ahead. This is the, the part where we were speaking about people being, the, being drunk and drugged. Mm -hmm. Because they prefer staying in, uh, in illusion. I don't think you have to be... I don't think you have to be... Uh, you could be totally sober and still not believe that you're like the only... I mean, to believe that, you know, I'm not the only person in the world. You could think you're not the only person in the world and still treat other people, you know, in a in a not so good way and feel totally justified in that behavior. This is the point that I was making to you before. But then there is there is no, then there is not this element that I told you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then there is no consciousness of the self. There is no uh, maturity. Mm -hmm. There is no responsibility. There, there is no self-reflection. If you are behaving as a what, whatever might be called a, a jerk or mm -hmm. uh, however you want to call it, mm -hmm. uh, that means that you are missing the basic human components that are valid for a mature ethical personality. Yeah. And uh, when you tell me we know where the world is going, world is going opposite direction from that. Yeah, yeah. Like there is, I, I find people who are like 44 years old and they behave like uh, irresponsible teenagers yes. or, you know, like, uh, and not only 44, maybe 60, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, so I believe as a humankind, we're really on the low level of, uh, of all these elements that, uh, that I said. And unfortunately, this is not going to change. Why? It's impossible. Why? <laughs> because because people don't all think the same things and people don't all value the same things. But they value their own life. No. No. Or they value life. Let's no. say that 90% of the people value life or no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> So what 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 is uh, moving them forward existence? Why are they alive if they? Because they just there's people that are alive because they don't have the courage to end their lives. There, I mean, there there there's all kinds of reasons. I mean, like people just people just do what they do. Like this is why you know why doesn't everyone um. Why doesn't ever everyone uh want to get the best possible education? Like why pe why are there people who aren't curious? 
I think yeah that that's that's the that's complex uh, question. And that's but, what I mean. That's why. I yeah, but it. all the questions can be answered. You know, all or the, not only all the questions can be answered. Maybe that's a wrong sentence, but uh, all the subjects can be uh, spoken about or yeah. thematized or you know, like uh, in the question of education. Then of course you have. Uh, the first, uh, the first question is, or the first uh, thing to uh, think about is like, uh, who is making this education? What are the standards of this education? Uh, what are the stories that are going, uh, uh, that are uh, inside of this uh, education? You know, like. Uh, right. And then see, you see, you just created a conflict. It's just, not a conflict. Yeah. No. Yes, no, it is. No. No, yes, it's it not is. a conflict. It's a, it's a it's a time long investment in uh, patience uh, toward the world change or toward the self change. Yeah, but the thing is, is when self. as soon as two people don't agree on the nature of education or who's being taught or what's being taught, people's yeah. general inclination isn't to say, "Hmm, we disagree," and like, how do we find out what's you know, as soon as emotion gets introduced to the to the situation, then you have a conflict. Yeah, I know, but maybe it's uh, maybe the t- time came that we should forget about the the categories of agreeing and disagreeing. Maybe the uh, the sufficient thing is that certain subjects uh, are open and uh, open toward the general public talk. Yeah. You understand? There were some subjects that were never been spoken about, uh, I don't know, 200 years ago, or uh, there was no uh, possibility to just have, like, uh, I don't know, free talk and uh, not to finish in, uh, uh, I don't know, jail or mm-hmm. uh, whatever. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not saying that today uh, we live in the world of uh, absolute freedom and... Uh, but, uh, you know, like, uh, we are slowly moving. It's just a question, uh, how do you inspire people to invest into the self-research? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't think it's possible. I think there's going to be people who are going to want to know. There's going to be people who are curious. And there's going to be people who want to be told. Yeah, Hollis, but look, you are one of the people that uh, I don't know you so much, but mm. what I can uh, uh, make as a conclusion is that mm. you're a pretty healthy person. Sure. There is not so many healthy people in the world around me, yeah? That, that means healthy is like uh, relatively self-conscious, taking care about what he's saying, taking care about other people, mm-hmm. making the atmosphere positive, eating healthy food, and being aware, like generally aware of the self. Mm-hmm. There is not so many people. Right. And uh, the question is why? And why the people who are like that are not like inspiring or uh, why are they not trying to because, inspire other people to be like that? Because people are inherently self-centered. Like it's and it's just it's just that it, it's lucky when you can find a group of people that think the way that you do. You know, and and you sometimes you surround yourself, you know, and then you're in trouble when you're surrounded by people who don't think the way that you do, because then you become ostracized. And the 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 thing is, we can't all work towards the the greater good, like because Why? because this stops where other where your discomfort begins is where it stops for like the, <laughs> that that pursuit stops like where you i'm trying to say it in the right yeah. way your where your discomfort begins is where that pursuit stops that's this is my position this yeah. is because if you say like if you say like um anyone smoking cigarettes is bad for society yeah how how is this a, how is this a wrong statement no i'm not into this is what i told you like i don't know like uh, 5 minutes ago i'm not into the general lo- rules or general statements no this is a very yeah. specific statement i'm saying smoking cigarettes does not contribute anything good to society why should no, first, anyone do first it first of all smoking doesn't contribute good to the self especially if it's not uh, uh, in uh, in uh, articulated or 
uh, normal amount, you yeah. know, like uh, I'm using the society as I'm trying to use your words. Like, I, you know how I feel about the, the word society. <laughs> the society. I'm trying to use your words. No, but no, no. I mean, but first is the self. We were speaking that society is built upon individuals. Right, so, right. But the point that I'm trying to make is right. If if you know we have uh, resources that can be geared towards like solving other problems, right? Yeah. Um, and then you have people who choose to smoke cigarettes that like along somewhere along, along the line in the future is going to cause them health, health problems and someone's going to have to use some resource to take care of this person who smoked cigarettes. Yeah. It's auto destructive. So you are still not this is what I mean. You're not benefiting other people by smoking even though you're hurting yourself, you are still on yeah. a certain level detracting from other people. Yes. You know, so Yeah. And then if you if you present it and and so once you present this uh to someone, then they make a decision and you know Yeah, but I like Yeah, smoking. but it's everything is okay until it's not the general rule. If the person still hears the story that you're saying, mm -hmm. look, uh, the smoking in uh, uh, small amounts or big amounts is not good because mm -hmm. you're not only hurting yourself, blah, 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 mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, and if the person still doesn't hear that, mm -hmm. that means that the person has the bug in the self mm -hmm. that is unresolved. And this bug is probably self-destruction. Mm -hmm. self mm -hmm. And the self-destruction is inherent in every human being, even inside of animals. So mm -hmm. the, the, the fact that you are being is uh, also the fact that you are self-destructive because mm -hmm. you want to end your being because mm -hmm. uh, you cannot... Uh, be uh, like uh, conscious about your end and not be in charge of your end you mm -hmm. know like mm -hmm. this is the bug inside of the human being and from that all forms of uh, self uh, self uh, destruction appear mm -hmm. you know but uh, self destruction for me is okay as a phase but but as a way of life or mm -hmm. as a something that is for the whole life then it means that you are not the, the person that is willing to work on self. Mm -hmm. And then it's the question that you are posing. Why do I bring children in the world that is anyhow polluted? Or, you know, like, why do I add to, to the whole po pollution, you know? And I'm not even talking about adding to the pollution. I'm saying subjecting a person to this situation. Like... And and I mean, even in your explanation, you answered your own question. This is why it's not going to things. I don't see any way for things to get better because you can't get everyone on the same page. You know what I mean? But it's we are on the same page because we are uh, absolutely connected for twenty four hours, all seven billion something people on the planet because we are one organism. We are just like the. So everything else is a paradoxical, you know, mm -hmm. like you are when you are working at the, on the self, you are working for the whole, whole mm -hmm. or the um, I don't know how to call it, like the general organism. But you, so you have like the particular organism and the general organism. Yeah. And if you are constantly polluting the self and you are not only polluting the self, but you are also polluting the general organism, mm -hmm. that means that you are destructive nature that is like... Uh, against anything that is uh, creative and positive. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, like, so if a person can justify being um, self-destructive, which they can very easily, how, what, 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 uh, like, what hope does the world have if each individual is very, like, um, prone to justifying their own behavior even when they know it's not it's wrong it's wrong yeah exiting from that this is called maturity 
for me, this is the tra trait of the maturity, not to justify all the time your bullshit uh, uh, behavior. And I have mostly problems with uh, people because uh, uh, I don't do that. I mm -hmm. don't justify my bullshit uh, behavior all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, I, I think this is like really one of the traits of uh, maturity, to be self-conscious. Okay. I was a asshole in this point. I'm sorry that I was a asshole. Look, I betrayed you. I had mm. recently, like, uh, uh, in in um, October, like, uh, people who were pretending to be my friends, like, utterly betraying me, you mm -hmm. know, like, uh, and not even saying I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But pretending this is normal. And this is the new society that we are building in which, like, uh, stabbing in the back, uh, betraying... Uh, doing everything to succeed, climbing on the dead bodies, you know, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's not only that is, uh, that is like, uh, okay to be done, but all of a sudden this became the new paradigm. Mm -hmm. It's cool, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. the bigger asshole you are, the cooler you are. Mm -hmm. And this is the society that we are uh, uh, building at the moment. And in this society, I don't want to hear anyone complaining that uh, uh, there is no possibility for a change. There is. It can go from uh, bad to worse. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. Are, yeah. Okay, so we can so, change. Yeah, we can change from bad to worse. Yes, but that's what I mean. This is where I'm. What I was saying about where the world is going. I don't see. I mean, I think we're never going to get to a point where people agree on what the right thing is to do. They are absolutely agreeing at the moment that the most uh, right things to do is mm -hmm. to make uh, the bigger amount of selfies. The, uh, the most uh, right thing to do is to have enormous amount of money. And the most right thing to do is to, no matter how you did it, that you succeed. In yeah. getting that money but, but, and in getting that fame and in getting that, you know, like yeah, yeah. There, it's yeah. not no, true. No, no, we no. agree upon things silently. No, no. See, but see the see the the criticism on certain certain things. Like this is what I mean. Like the criticism on certain behavior. This yeah. is already creating conflict. And, and there's like a level of judgment when you say this. Why isn't making money, like what makes money not be uh, making large amounts of money a bad thing? Because it's unlogical. You cannot have 7 billion people mm -hmm. and have a, a wealth uh, of 100 people mm -hmm. that is, uh, I don't know, that represents the 70% of the general wealth in the world. Mm -hmm. It's unlogical if we are all one organism. Yeah. So, you so you're saying... There is an utter unlogic in the behavior of the people who are behaving like this. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, is like, so someone makes money and someone makes a billion dollars or whatever. On the back of other people. No. No, what? There's no back of other people. I'm saying. So how does this pe person from your example making a billion of dollars? Or let's, let's say they let's let's say they hit the lottery. Okay. Let's say they win the lottery. Mm -hmm. What effect does their billion dollars have on the rest of the world? How this lottery gathered this billion dollars? People voluntarily spent their money trying to win a chance, you know, on the chance of winning the billion dollars for themselves. So they Why spend this money? lottery exists as a form in in the real society, in reality, in our re reality? Because people want the money. No. Why is lottery existing as a form? Why is something that is game on luck uh, that is based on the money of the other people because which people you win? You know why? Because some people don't want to work for a billion dollars. It's not only... I think that, uh, unfortunately, most people that work are not having the billion dollars. Yeah, but it's not you about can that. choose... I'm, I'm speaking always about the, the, like the parts of the human psyche or the human being mm -hmm. that are, uh, for centuries, not willing to be talked about. So we talk about, like... Uh, 
all the in, 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 uh, not important things, but we are not speaking about uh, important things. You know, like for me in the in the example of the luck game and the lottery, it's not the mm-hmm. question what the person does the, to the money or why is he willing to work or not to work, mm-hmm. but why this exists as a form. Okay, you know? so what then then I ask you the side then, of the being. Yeah, but but see the the thing is, it's like this is what I was talking to you about. You have you you seem to have a level of contempt for this kind of thing, like this kind of way of life or this way of being. And I'm saying this person, it's my premise that this person is no better or worse than the person that voluntarily drinks alcohol. Not that I ha- and I and I'm saying because I don't have any judgment towards like anyone like i'm saying that i don't have an inherent judge towards everyone but i'm saying like what so if you can have contempt over the person that has like a um uh you know they want to work hard and say i want to change my life and i want to live a super comfortable life i want to be able to travel and never have to worry about my children's education i want to earn so much money that this is not a problem for me. Somehow this person is bad, right? No, it's not. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's bad. It's well, you, not worse. Why did you why did you add this oh, on the backs of other people? Why did this even come into the conversation? Because this money is collected from other people, money who are hoping toward the same goal that is only possible for them to reach that money in that way. And I'm saying how the, it's not how impossible. It's it's just the easiest. It's the the ease. It's the least um, amount of work. People like to go by luck. I, I mean, the the thing is, some people what work and play saying? the lottery, huh? What is that saying? I mean, well, we can keep taking it to another level of well. What is that saying? Well, what yeah. is that saying? Like, but like, <laughs> then we don't even address the, then we don't even get a chance to address the actual issue. You know, what I'm saying is, is that everyone plays a part in what goes on in the world. Exactly. So if you, like, if you know you are detrimental to the world at large by drinking, and I'm, a, you know, I'm just throwing these things out there, by drinking, smoking doing drugs like or like eating meat or whatever any of these things that some people think are like or be being like uh uh i don't know like how do you say when person wants everything for themselves i right? have just a german being greedy. greedy exactly yeah, yeah. Be- so, be- being greedy or being uh uh, nasty toward the other people. It doesn't have to be only what you consume. It can be also what you put in the world. You yeah, understand? Well, this is what I'm saying. Like, so if we know that, like, hey, you know, when you drive, you know, you're less you're less likely to have an accident if you're in total control of your. Uh, Vehicle. <laughs> yeah, of your mind. Yes, right. <laughs> so why would why does anyone ever drink and drive? Like, why does anyone ever like? Do... Because because being in control of your body mind vehicle mm-hmm. is a demanding thing, mm-hmm. and everyone wants it easy. Mm-hmm. Well, so this is what I'm saying. This is the answer. Like, it's it, it. There's no difference between that person and the person that gambles, or the person that like wants to have certain things. It's like people want to be able to drink and drive. Yeah, they because this is the point. People want to get things easy. They want to go through life easy and as illusional as possible. Because you don't want to, see, who wants to see the truth? Who wants to t- see the truth about the self, first okay. of all? So the, who wants to clean their own uh, shit? Sorry. Yeah. So, well, there you go. This is this is what I mean. So where, how are, how do we even have a question about anything? Like we know this is the nature of human beings. That's it. I don't believe that's nature of human beings. I would say that's habit of human beings because you exercise habit. 
and then it becomes the nature. You know, like when you repeat it so many times, all of a sudden it becomes your trait mm -hmm. because you were exercising it so much. Mm -hmm. But this is this is the point that we, I don't know how we came to that, but this is the thing uh, that, that for me is interesting. You are saying, or I am also feeling, we are moving towards some direction that is not beneficial for the... Um, description of the thesis as such mm -hmm. yeah so i am slowly starting to uh, feel shame for to which species i belong to immature Why? Why? Uh, immature uh irresponsible uh illusional uh bad uh, utterly bad greedy uh that wants to like uh annihilate the other but why what why why do you feel shame for being a part I feel of that shame species? Why? because i know that there is potential inside of the human being as such for something bigger than that why are you not just worrying worrying about you because i am that and that is i no i am not excluded <laughs> from it yes you are yes you are <laughs> This to, is the point where we don't do yeah, because I want to hear your point. Yeah, yeah, yes, you are. Yes, you are. I say yes, you are because there is an infinite amount of things that you can do to improve yourself before you even deal with what's going on with the rest of the world. And and this is the problem. It, it's like when people start pointing the finger at other people and like making it into this big thing where you have no control over any of these other people in the world, what they do or what they think, and you got all this other stuff that you can be fixing in yourself that would be a benefit to the rest of the world. But this is how we started the conversation. That's the point. Yeah. The working on the self. But you said that people don't want to do that. Yeah, people don't. Yes, because this is what I'm saying. When people start thinking about being a part of society, like, and all of this, th this is a way to avoid dealing with the self. Okay, so basically you're saying in the moment when, the, when, the, uh, when I or the self thinks about uh, uh, others or the society, mm -hmm. he's already uh, missing the point or he's already... Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, maybe maybe like uh, uh, something as an interesting question is uh, so how does a self doesn't uh, become selfish? <laughs> I don't. I don't know this. I mean. I mean. I would say that it's impossible. I. I mean, like you're going to be selfish on some level. Like you know what I mean. Like because you. I mean, wanting to live like self preservation is. You know, I mean, with certain people, there may be someone that you would give your life for them. Yeah. But people won't give their lives for everyone. Yeah. You know, what or I'm maybe saying? to no one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and that's what I'm saying. And or some people don't even care enough about themselves to, you know, or not. I won't say care, but have the fortitude to have the strength to take care of themselves in a way for the benefit of everyone else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. and, and this is what I mean. I don't think people can get themselves to, to a point that they care about everyone, like everyone and everything. This is just impossible. It's just impossible. Yeah, but there is a, we started from the self-consciousness and uh, we are now at self-care. So maybe, <laughs> maybe these two aspects are really important for the development of uh, personality. Yeah. So, I, I mean, so what do you do? What do you think? What do you think? Don't listen to me. I'm just talking. Like, uh, what do practice. you think? Practice. I, uh, uh, I love theory, but I love practice more. Mm-hmm. You just work on yourself. You're constantly observing your uh, bugs and uh, things that are not fun functioning or male functioning, and you go and repair it. Mm -hmm. it's for me, really, like the body and the mind are a vehicle. Mm -hmm. This is a vehicle that has a certain potential that is uh, that is uh, multi levels. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like uh, you can do many things with that. You can create music, create theater, create reality, create mm. friendships, create uh, love uh, affairs or whatever, you know, mm. like uh, you have so many potential. You can be in the body, you can exit the body, you can, you know, and if you are not investing time in uh, uh, learning about this vehicle that you have and treating the other vehicles on the ethical level, and mm -hmm. ethics is simple. Mm -hmm. It says, I have a face, don't, and the face is saying, don't kill me. Mm -hmm. It's simple. That's simple. It's not uh, like a big talk or, you know, like... Uh, don't do to the other what you don't want to be done to you. It's like uh, old simple sayings, you know. It's mm -hmm. not something that is it's invented a long time ago and it's really simple. Mm -hmm. So you just, uh, you need like a few, few uh, codes in order to function normally as a human being. And to create something that is uh, what for me became the important category. Is it healthy or is it not? Mm -hmm to create something healthy around you, mm -hmm. to have a healthy talk, to have mm -hmm. a healthy uh, body, to have a, have a healthy surrounding. But that's for you. This is what I'm saying. This is for you. And, and this is, that's a lifetime of work for you. And, and the best, to me, the best thing that you can hope for is to be a good example for other people. Like, but the idea of trying to get other people to um to be better people like people have different ideas of what it is to be better you know what i mean yeah yeah it's not about uh, getting anywhere and uh, getting anyone anywhere mm -hmm. you know it's mm -hmm. about uh, this what we spoke uh, we are in, in the time space where things are complicated there is a climate change mm -hmm. there is a uh, many uh, zillion million people on the planet mm -hmm. there is uh, it's not about getting anyone anywhere mm -hmm. it's about becoming conscious and uh, it, uh, from the starting from the self mm -hmm. and uh, or observing phenomenon, you know, like we started the whole talk uh, from the point where I observed yesterday a phenomenon of the uh, great amount of people who are unaware of their body in space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not only unaware of their body of, in space, but they're also under the substance. And mm -hmm. this is for me something that is the like a super big phenomenon of the current world mm -hmm. yeah and mm -hmm. that's it there is no i'm trying not to judge i, I think i'm also a judgmental per person and everyone is judgmental i'm giving my best not to do that mm -hmm. but uh i'm observing phenomenon and uh trying to understand what's going on in me and then around me because this phenomenon that is outside it has to be inside of me too because i am them and they're me mm -hmm. So there is something in me that is malfunctioning. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you know, if you feel that way, that's on you. I, 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 mean, <laughs> I don't I, agree. <laughs> I don't feel like there was anybody over there that was me. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> That's because you're a special, Hollis. Well. <laughs> I'm provoking you. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what I'm saying. Right. Maybe there was. <laughs>